Thank you. I give the floor to the distinguished representative of Norway. Thank you, Madam President. Norway welcomes the relaunch earlier this month of direct bilateral negotiations to end the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and the intensive discussions that have taken place between Prime Minister Netanyahu and President Abbas. The mission and purpose continue to be the full realization of a two-state solution so that one day soon an independent, democratic and viable Palestinian state will live side by side with Israel in peace and security. Regarding the circumstances surrounding the incident of Israel's boarding of the flotilla carrying humanitarian supplies to Gaza on 31st May this year, Norway called for and supported the decision by the Human Rights Council to establish an independent international investigation. Further, we stress the need for the Human Rights Council to act in uh, full coordination with the Security Council, the Secretary General of the UN and other relevant UN bodies when responding to this incident. We welcome the presentation of the report later today by the International Fact-Finding Mission and we take note of the conclusions put forward. The report is an important contribution to the work of the panel of inquiry. In order to ensure a coordinated and coherent UN process, we believe the Council should formally forward the report to the Secretary General and his panel of inquiry. Norway is of the view that the underlying challenge continued to be the situation in Gaza. Israel has taken significant positive steps in this regard since the incident on 31st May by easing the restrictions on import of goods. This will yield tangible results for the people of Gaza. If the Palestinian state-to-be is to break out of its structural donor dependence and become sustainable, it needs political and economic space to do so. The restricted access to resources and markets in Area C and East Jerusalem as well as to foreign markets, is a major barrier to economic growth in the private sector, the potential of which must be tapped to fuel the drive towards independence. It is just as vital to lift the restrictions on the movement of people. At the end of the day, no solution is possible without the people of Gaza having the opportunity to claim their rightful place in and make their indispensable contribution to a Palestinian state in peace with Israel. Madam President, to ensure a genuine revival of Gaza's legitimate economy and improvement of the welfare of its people, additional lifting of restrictions, including for exports, trade, and the legitimate passage of people, is required. Norway believe, believes this can be achieved while at the same time safeguarding Israel's security needs. I thank you, Madam President.